Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. I'm trying something just a little different with my intro. Hope you like it. So today I'm here with something that is gonna be a bit of a new series on my channel. It is the something old, something new multi palette bingo. This idea is taking a palette that is a little bit older in my collection and most likely definitely neglected and a palette that's newer in my collection. That is either something that to be straight up honest, I know is popular right now on YouTube or just something that's new that hasn't been shown a lot of love on my part. The two palettes that we're using in this inaugural video is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette and the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. They're both really gorgeous palettes. And while the purple palette is not the newest of the ColourPop monochromatic palette series, it is still one of the newer palettes in my collection. And I feel like it just needs a little bit more love. And the Too Faced palette, I'll be perfectly honest, I just don't reach for an all matte palette that's not an extremely colorful palette. I don't find myself reaching for it. So I went to play and mix some colors together. And yes, I'm drinking cold brew coffee at 7 p.m. at night. Cold coffee has a piece of my heart all year long. So I, I picked the numbers ahead of time using random.org. You'll be seeing it on the screen, what, num what numbers got picked out. I pulled six numbers in total, three and three. And we ended up with a kind of neutral color palette. This row is from the Just Peachy Mattes palette and this row is from It's My Pleasure. I ended up with Peach Butter, Just Peachy, and Just Ripe, and, and bare minimum Earthshine and Mr. Sandman, this corner. It kind of worked out. I got three shimmers from ColourPop and three mattes from Too Faced. I feel like I say this in a lot of um, videos. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I really don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to jump right into this. We're gonna be working with this eye. It's primed with a concealer that has not been set with powder and let's get going. I'm going to jump into Just Peachy, which is the mid-tone peach matte that I got with a fluffy brush. And we're going just straight into the crease lid area. We're using that matte color to blend out the edges. It basically does nothing. And the fact that there's two of them in this palette is a waste. Doing my normal blend the color all the way up situation. I don't always do the under eye at this stage in the game, but today I am. I'm also deciding to drag the color out a little bit more. Using a smaller, fluffier brush, I'm going to go into Just Ripe, which is kind of a warm brown. It's a brown with a touch of like red in it. Oh, I went, I went very generous on the brush. And I'm focusing this on the outer corner of the eye. And then we're gonna drag up and out just a little bit. Just applying the color a little closer to my lash line than the big fluffy brush did. These are perfectly lovely mattes. Nothing wrong with them, I just don't reach for them. So with this winged out shape, I actually want to create a much more dramatic wing that we will then fill in with shimmer. When I do this step right here, I may end up covering up what I did with the brown. If that's the case, we'll go back in and adjust it. So 
So what I did just now is I basically created a big cut crease wing. The thing that I did really want with this effect though is rather than raising the look up so much, I really wanted that wing to go kind of straight out. It may seem wasteful, but I just went back and basically used this Q-tip and took off almost all of the concealer I had put down. The concealer was not there to stick product to. The concealer for me, the concealer for me was there to create a shape. I'm going to fill the shape in with shimmer using glitter glue. Because I'm working across the whole lid and with multiple colors, I'm only gonna put down a section of glitter glue at a time and work in that section and then move forward. So I'm going in with a flat, thin brush. I'm going to start with the red purple on the outer corner. I've laid down the glitter glue to about the beginning of my lid here. Going in with more glitter glue. And this time it's Mr. Sandman. This shadow is very, very flaky. I don't even think I would travel with this palette because I would be too afraid of that shadow exploding. Going back in with the deeper color and going over that edge. I just use that brush to clean up the point on this side as well. Going back in with more glitter glue on the inner part of the lid. And using another small brush, going in with Earth, Earth Shine. This one does not pick up as easily on the brush as the other shimmers, but it'll get there. I just feel like I have to scrub into the color a lot. And I felt like that almost ate some of the Mr. Sandman, so I'm just putting on more Mr. Sandman. Because I did cover up all of Just Right, I'm going back in on the under portion of the eye. I should say I'm, I'm going in back into the shadow, putting it on the lower lash line, but it was not there before. So I smoked it out just a little bit along the wing on the bottom. And I'm going to do that just a tiny bit on top. I'm going in with peach butter on a fluffy brush and just diffusing the lower lash line. Initially, I had plans on putting Earth Shine on my inner corner, but I think I'm going to pull in my face highlighter instead because I currently like the balance of the two palettes on my eyes. For the inner corner, I'm going to use Ofra Beverly Hills, focusing on these two sections. And I'm making the inner corner highlight pretty large, kind of connecting here to here. I wanted a really intense, exaggerated inner corner, but if you're not feeling that and you're thinking about recreating this look, just do what makes you happy. But I think that is the finished look for the eyeshadow. I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye, mascara, and any other necessary finishing touches. Be right back.
and I'm back. It's been a little bit more than just the time it took for me to do my eye makeup and my background has changed for that reason. My eye makeup might look a little less than perfect because I would cry laughing through the Half Cousin podcast with probably my three favorite people, Georgia and Lacey and Teresa's dad was on. But anyway, this is the finished look. I did the uh, this eye, basically the same that I did this way, this eye. I also touched up the blush and highlight. I actually used these two colors to punch up the blush and make it a little bit more peachy. That's a great tip if you ever use a color on your eyes and want to tie it together. And then I added a little bit more highlighter in a duo creamy peachy variety. This final eye look kind of lends to my thought that the purple palette from Colourpop is pretty approachable because it leans a little bit pink and warm. I do think there are some nice true purple shades in here, but some of the ones that I got, especially paired with the, the peach base, really amplified the warmth in those colors. That kind of shows just how warm leaning this purple palette really is. So this was my first something old, something new multi palette bingo. If you are watching this and you think it's a cool idea that you want to do either using these palettes or any old and new palette in your collection, please, please do make the, make that video, share with me in the comments or send me a message on Instagram. I would love to see the video if you were to be inspired by this one. If you are not subscribed and you want to keep up to date with the kinds of looks and videos that I am putting out there, I would love for you to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate everything so much. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope to see you again real soon. Bye friends.